Technology is changing in Virginia, Be Virginia Beach and it could transform the experience you have on the city's roads. Leaders hope their city can pave the way for new advanced transportation options in Hampton Roads. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee is here to explain. Janet, city leaders have talked about automated shuttles, self-driving cars, all in the name of improving safety on the road and making sure everyone's driving efficiently. But first, the city has to take some baby steps. It starts with evaluating current infrastructure and experimenting with technology. The concept is simple. It's how to not only get people to and fro in a timely manner, but also how to get them there safely. Making driving a little better as you avoid the inevitable. Merging without using turn signals. People just not being courteous to one another. The city of Virginia Beach wants to become a test center. Car manufacturers would experiment with technology that would allow your car to talk with the city's traffic lights and traffic cameras. Basically, your car is going to know when the light changes before you do. So imagine the impacts of that, where you can communicate if there are crashes ahead. Down the line, self-driving cars could be added to the mix. The city wants to see how it can use technology to make driving safer. Is how can we share information that's going to be important to you as a driver from a safety aspect, but there's also there's also the idea of congestion. How can we mitigate that with technology? If it works out, the city would create a network with its technology communicating with yours to warn you about any hazards on the road. Obviously, privacy is going to be a lot of people's concern, um, but I feel like if it's going to make this uh, driving safer, I think it's something that should be looked at. So in order for the city to make any car to infrastructure communication happen, they have to conduct a study. So right now they're in the beginning phase of planning it, but officials tell me they hope to start in the next few months. Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.